Hey guys, Carl here from Retro32 again. Uh, just putting another little video together to show you how to fit the new RGB to HDMI board in your Amiga 500. So, very quickly, here we go. Here's the boards, and obviously there's our Denise chip, which we should be removing shortly. So, the way that I do it is get a trusty old flat blade screwdriver and just gently pry it up from both sides. Now I can't stress how gentle you really do need to be. Also just try and bring it out quite as level as you can so that when you actually do pull the chip out it should come nice and cleanly off. Um, don't force it um, but yeah there you go. Better than my last attempt in the other video anyway. So once you're done there I'm going to go and grab your long boy board just here. There we go. Check all your pins are all straight before you pop it in. And there we go so first thing to do is just rest it on make sure that all the pins are lined up you haven't got any bent pins or anything like that um, check both sides check around the back all looks good and then you can press firmly on the top of the adapter like so there we go she's in and then we want to take our Denise chip just kind of make sure um, it's upside down a bit like that and again, what I tend to do is put one side in, put the other side in, you'll feel it kind of clip. Um, and there you go, and then just push, again, just push firmly down. Once you've done that, take our Raspberry Pi Zero, and pop it in just like so. Uh, excuse how I'm doing this, I'm having to do this one handed. So. Um, and there we go, she just goes in like that. So then you can grab your mini HDMI cable and get it tested and here we go look the cables connected we're gonna flicker on there we go green light flashes and there oh come on there we go um, obviously nice little board this one um, obviously offers a few more advantages over the previous generation board uh, with the timing fixes which means you don't get any sparkles or anything so it's all good um, obviously and it gives you better clearance if you're running things like accelerators or something like that as well um, these boards are available from my website retro32.com um, we do have a limited um, supply so make sure you uh, pick yours up when you see them in stock um, hope you enjoyed the video hope you found it useful and i'll see you soon